Well, welcome back. It's that time. The holidays are here, so the holiday waistline. Yeah. On the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's already there. <laughs> the average Christmas dinner in America is around 3,000 calories, Whoa. and that does not even count all of the cookies and the snacks that you're munching on throughout the day. But you can avoid the holiday weight gain this year, and here with some really healthy tips, Jim White, the owner of Jim White Fitness and Nutrition Studios. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, we have some good looking stuff here, but I wanna put this number out there. It says here, the average weight gain is approximately one pound during the holiday season. Absolutely, and yeah. you said the 3,000 calories, Lucy. I mean, it's equivalent to three sticks of butter and one pint of ice cream. I feel like I'm the nutrition Scrooge sometimes. No one invites me to parties yep. anymore. Yeah. You have some good looking <laughs> stuff here, though. You do have some good looking stuff. Uh, it says yeah. um, exercise burn equivalent uh, for the food that we love to eat. And you have one large candy bar over there, uh, which is packing some, uh, some some calories. Absolutely. Yeah. So if we look at the exercise equivalents, uh, you know, these are these jumbo candy canes yeah. that we put in the sock. I see them all the time. In yeah. order to burn us off, we have to do around 45 minutes of a spinning class, mm, a glass of right. eggnog, mm -hmm. 3.5 miles of running, and the gingerbread cookie, which has 300 calories, right around 30 minutes of push ups. I don't yeah. know many people can do 30 minutes of push ups. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's yeah, so you're saying not to have that gingerbread cookie? Well, or are there other alternatives? If you want to exercise mm -hmm. and burn off, no, <laughs> I got some healthy alternatives. Good, all right. So a lot of us eat deviled eggs throughout the holidays, mm -hmm. and you know, it is full of mayonnaise and also egg yolks, which are okay at some times, but if you switch with avocados and Greek yogurt, you can definitely pump it up with healthy fats and cut down some of the calories. So it's a nice switch onto the mm -hmm. you know, typical sure. egg salad there. That is, it smells good. a little good. bit about um, some more crowd, because that's definitely a crowd pleaser. Yeah, when mm -hmm. you walk into a party with that, you you're see not that, you're like, okay. Or the woman on a diet that's going to the party where no one else is. Yeah, bring something Tell healthy. us a little bit more about the crowd pleasers that you would say you wouldn't think of this, but try this instead. Yeah, well, you know, we're always stuck with a lot of dips. Even mm -hmm. a cheese dip, just one scoop of tortilla chips can be up to 50 calories. So maybe a nice cranberry salsa that is still get your fruits and vegetables, still taste good, nice. and you're not damaging your diet, and you're mm -hmm. still having that nice taste. Yeah. The puppy chow. How many of you know the puppy chow with the rice checks? Yes. And the oh. Well, you can Love also, in the <laughs> you can make it a little bit healthier with dark chocolate chips which has antioxidants yeah. it has apricots and it oh, has wow. cranberries and then you can still have the rice checks in there to make it more savory and sweet so it's, so and it still looks good if, if you look at that when you walk into a party you're not going to say oh that's the healthy stuff exactly. that actually does look tasty it's festive, mm -hmm. exactly. yeah. Absolutely. and it's about trade-offs yeah. we still can have our holiday foods but it's all trade-offs making the, some of the unhealthier foods a little bit healthier and Jim, you always have it, one last rule for people. Is it an 80 20 or is it more of a you know that you can't work off what you've eaten? What, what would you say? My key around the holidays is to exercise, at least to exercise to burn off those extra calories. Budget your calories. If you're going to a party, eat before you go. Mm -hmm. Maybe cut down on some extra calories. For New Year's, everyone drinks. Yep. Uh, you may, maybe doing a virgin sangria mm -hmm. with some 100% uh, Concord grape juice and some oranges. Uh, maybe a great way sure. to still indulge a little bit right. and still you know, have it. But 80 20 always without awesome. ruining Thanks, the diet Jim. Jim thank you so much for Jim White Fitness and St Nutrition Studios thank you again for giving us these great ideas for the holidays yeah, we can still have enjoy a party and it's gonna taste great that's right all right this is 13 news now at noon we'll be right back